Gertie and I are going to take you on a slightly different tour today. So if you bear with us, we'll go up to the end of the wall garden and out through the metal gate. plants I brought back from China 16 years ago now but I just wanted to show you this uh, tree fuchsia from New Zealand fuchsia ex corticata you may be able to see it's got tiny little fuchsia flowers coming straight out of the trunk Zealand, the size of an oak tree with this beautiful peeling bark. So, I don't think we can get that here. Here we come to Stachyurus magpie, a lovely shrub with very clear and clean variegation. Should be packed with this catkins. New growth just starting. Before we go through the gate, a couple of things here. This one is Photinia prionophila. It's got this amazing new growth and very, very bold foliage. It's become very tall, so I, I cut out a couple of stems, the trunks, should I say, and it's encouraged it to break at the bottom, produce some growth so you can actually see the foliage. And although you can see the euphorbia mellifera, the honey euphorbia next to it, unfortunately you can't smell it because it is absolutely like opening a jar of honey and, and having a sniff. And just over the wall here is a uh, a climber from Chile, which rejoices in the name Ursula volubilis. Sounds like a rather garrulous, talkative lady, but it actually, volubilis, just means twining, climbing. However, the late John Quick of Sherwood loved the name, and when I gave him a plant of this, he, he used to really enjoy <laughs> saying Ursula volubilis. So much so in fact that it became a bit of a joke there. And when he died, Vaughan at his funeral with Vaughan's partner, they composed a song on the voluble Ursula. Now we come up into the garden itself. There's what is memory magnolia on the right, Star Wars on the left. And it's difficult to see, but behind Star Wars there is Apollo. But the Waters Memory, I planted this in 1989, something like that. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful plant. Again, I wish you could smell <laughs> through this machine because it's got a lovely scent. The story behind it well known. Koishiro Wada was a famous Japanese nurseryman and he sent a batch of seedlings of Magnolia salicifolia to an arboretum in Washington in 1940. And then rumour had it that he had been killed in the war. So as one of these was seedlings was quite a distinct uh, shape with rather droopy petals, uh, but quite distinct from the others in the batch. It was called Wadda's memory, in his memory. Of course, he, after the war, he hadn't died at all. He was still alive. And in fact, we visited America in the 40s. But 
uh, he has this memorial to his uh, name as in fact it's attached to a rhododendron Yakushimenum FCC form is now Koishura Warda. Pass Warda's memory and heaven sent again for similar vintage 35 years old towards some of the camellias here which have grown really very tall and they're just going over now nice bit of brown flowering <coughs> but I think uh, Temple Bell is, uh, is just one Freedom Bell is just a wonderful camellia as is Leonard Messel, the camellia. As to Lady Clare, whether she spent all her life recumbent, I don't know, but here she's certainly lying down. Notwithstanding the uh, commercialization of names of camellias to promote sales, this one is particularly beautiful, I think, in any case. It's on long stems, which are quite good for cutting and staying in the vase. Congratulations. Looking up now to the uh, Trewithin hybrid I showed you the other day. Galaxy by Liliflora nigra. Quite a pleasant tree. Bertie, let's get a move on. A long little mess in the back. Uh, before it blows over, Schefter and Macrophylla. The little tree, well, it will be a tree from Madeira called Picrasma. No, sorry, Piconia. Piconia excelsa. On the uh, Laura Silva forests of evergreens. Polyspora longicarpa. Flowering away, as you can see, it's still December it started. And under it, a little group of Eritronium hendersoni. And to its left, Illicium. If it was born in North Devon, it would be Elysium Simmons, yeah. There we are. People up the country don't know how to pronounce the names. Yeah, it's still going. Still going. Oh dear, this looks rather ominous. Yes. Thinks he's eating. Anyway, you, Bertie. I want to take you down here a minute. 
Don't panic, we're almost finished. Down here is an amazing sorbus. Fantastic new growth. I don't know if you can see it really very well. It is amazing. Anyway, this sorbus, which I planted in 2009, no, yes, nine, was well, called Sorbus Paleosorbus, then it became Sorbus Megacarpa, and then some botanists said, well, that's too easily confused with Sorbus Megalocarpa, which in fact is flowering over there. You can probably see it. And they said, don't, don't be silly, people aren't that stupid. And uh, well, the botanist said, well, We'll call it Medongensis, Sorbus Medongensis. And that's what it stayed until more botanists said, no, no, you can't. Sorbus Megacarp has priority. So Sorbus Megacarp it is. I've got two labels with Sorbus Medongensis on them. And I don't think I'm going to be bothered to make another one in case Somebody changes their mind yet again. Heading back. And here's some nice catkins of Stachyurus chinensis. We saw magpie earlier. This one doesn't have quite so many. All bunched up, but it is a very tall grower. And if the sun wasn't shining through the tree, I would point this camera up, but I don't want to blind you particularly. Now we're coming up to a magnolia, which I like very much. Fairly new to me. And which I only planted about three years ago, four years ago. Magnolia Sunrise. And it has these red flushed pale yellow flowers, which I think is very attractive. Puts me in mind of Magnolia Wilsoni at Sherwood, which Vaughan used to exhibit occasionally, with white flowers in the red base. But I think this just lifts it out of boredom and into interest by having this. And the... Uh, The red flush makes it, I think, very attractive. The yellow does fade, however. Oh well, I think it's time for coffee, Bertie. Yep, time to have some coffee. Let's go back home. Just looking around to the left as we go along. Look at the amazing flower power of magnolias. What's not to like, eh? What is not to like? Fabulous. Oh well, here we go. Back home 